in this video i will explain how i migrated my application that was developed in the older version of next.js 12 to latest version of next.js that is 13. so here is what i did first of all you need to make sure that the node.js version that you're using is 16.8 or higher so that is the requirement for the latest version of next.js the next thing that you have to do is install the latest version of next using this particular command okay in case of my application i had to change the link component okay next link component and uh, other one was next image component so these two components uh, i had to change but i had used this link and the image components in several pages so it was not feasible to manually change that and that's when you can use this code mod so this is the utility that nextjs provides so basically what it does is that it modifies your existing code base and then makes it compatible with the latest version of Next.js. So when I upgraded the Next.js, what I was uh, getting is that I was getting this error, invalid link with a child. So basically in latest version of Next.js, you don't have to put this link A as a child of the link component, okay? That is not required in the latest version of Next.js. So to make the changes in your code base, instead of manually doing that, you can execute this command, which is npx next slash code mod at latest new link dot components or dot pages or whichever folder you have got where uh, you want to make the changes okay so basically what it does is that it goes to each uh, file in this particular directories and then updates your code base automatically for you and make sure that before you execute this command you have to commit all the changes otherwise this command doesn't work so this was for the link component and the next uh, component that I had to change was uh, image component so for that I had to execute this particular command code more at latest next dash image to legacy image okay so the error in this case uh, was that image component imported from the next image image with the source has invalid width property expected a numeric value in pixels but received 30 pixel so this was uh, this was the error that I was getting and I fixed that by using this particular command. Basically it will go to all the pages or the files in the pages directory and then update your code for you. So this saved me a lot of time because I had thousands of files and doing it manually would have been a horrible experience for me. But in your case uh, there might be some more changes that you have to make and uh, if you want to find out like what changes you will have to make you can go to this official documentation of Next.js where they have given this upgrading guide and also they have talked about the code mods as well. So as you can see here, the code mods are the transformations or the modifications that uh, run on your code base programmatically. So instead of manually changing your code base, it will be happening automatically. And they have given the examples uh, here as well. So, so in the older versions of the Node.js, we used to use this particular package at next slash font slash Google and now we don't need to use that add symbol over there then uh, regarding this image import so rename next image imports so this is how you can do that just execute this command and you have to specify that folder then remove a text from the link components so if you want to do that you can use this command and there are several other modifications that they have given so depending upon your project you will have to run those more uh, transformations for your code base and uh, also they have given detailed guide as well over here app router migration so you can check it out as well so they have given detailed information about this image link component script component font optimization and how you can migrate from the pages to app directory pages that you have created in the pages directory are still compatible with the latest version of next so you can work in pages directory and app directory simultaneously so there should not be any issue that's it if you have more questions let me know through the comments thank you for watching